Hi and welcome. The seasons are certainly changing around us with blossom in the trees and the days getting longer. The excitement of summer coming is upon us. But the seasons are also changing in things heavenly. And I believe that the message that I bring to you today is part of that recognition of the changing seasons. And we're going to be looking at Matthew 21. But I'll be sharing this message in two parts. So let's read from Matthew 21. Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism. Where did it come from? Was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it amongst themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. Then he said, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The scripture begins by speaking of Jesus entering the temple courts. Then obviously he was teaching, or at least ministering to those who were there. That would say to me initially that they had no real problems, that is, the temple leaders and the elders, had no real problem with Jesus being there. He was okay, probably wasn't causing too much trouble, and they were going to bear with, if you like, uh, Jesus being in their midst. But then something must have happened. Something must have happened either with people listening more intently, maybe uh, healings happening, uh, maybe people gossiping and, 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 and sharing the good news that Jesus was, uh, was sharing with them. But whatever the case, something must have happened. Because now the temple leaders and the elders of the courts were then coming to Jesus now and saying, by whose authority are you able to teach like this? He must have been speaking, therefore, with some kind of authority. And this is where so beautifully uh, Jesus challenges them. He doesn't fall into the trap for their uh, petty politics and to give them uh, an answer that they would just continue to argue. So what he does is he throws a question back at them. He says, John the Baptist, someone who had already been stirring up the whole of Jerusalem. John the Baptist, by whose authority was he baptizing? Jesus asked them. Was it from heaven or was out of human means? You see, baptism at that time was only for a proselyte, someone who was coming from a Gentile understanding into the Jewish faith, was ceremonially washed. And the priests and, and for other, uh, a couple of other health reasons, there was ceremonial washing. But we read in Mark 1 that John was out baptizing for the repentance of sins. And not only that, he was saying, but I'm not worthy of anything, really. I only baptize with water. Somebody who I'm not even worthy enough to untie his sandals. He will come and baptize you in the Holy Spirit. So here was Jesus saying, so whose authority was John working under? And they fluffed around amongst themselves and said, well, we don't know. And Jesus says, well, neither will I tell you under whose authority I do these things. Too often we question what's happening amongst us in the things of faith. And we wonder, where did somebody get that knowledge? Who gave them the authority? Who made them pastor? And the gatekeepers and the elders seem to just want to hold on to what they already have. Hold on to what's comfortable. 
hold on to what's known, hold on to what they can measure and what they can understand. And it was no different for the temple of Jesus' time. They seemed to have this monopoly over everyone. And now here was this Jesus coming along and upsetting the apple cart. But you and I, I'm trusting, both know under whose authority Jesus ministers to us this day. Jesus says that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. He also says that nobody comes to the Father except through me. And so therefore, I encourage you and challenge you this day to come under the authority of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, who promised never to leave us or forsake us, and said that he would send his Holy Spirit to dwell within us so that what he did, we can do, and even more in his name. And so I encourage you to discover Jesus for yourself. Sure, read about him in scripture. Sure, talk to other people about who Jesus was for them. But my encouragement is for you to discover Jesus for yourself. A simple prayer. Jesus, I want to find you for me. I want you to come into my life. I'm sorry for all the times that I've tried to go my own way. I'm sorry for the times that I've questioned the mysteries of faith. I want to trust, Jesus, that you have all authority and that your desire is to build us up, not to tear us down. So please come into my life. Fill me by your Spirit. Help me to see that you have a plan and a purpose, that you will journey with me until the day that you call me home, when we can be together forever. And finally, come Holy Spirit. Come and touch the viewer today. For those that you have called to watch this message, Come, Holy Spirit, and touch them, I pray. And I speak blessing, and I speak favour unto you and your household, this day and forever. Amen. And the second part, which I'll bring in our next message, will be from the parable that Jesus then shares with his listeners.